Forgot to turn the TV off. Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a super awesome video on something new that has happened in my braces process. Yes, I recently got elastics. So, in this video I will tell you everything about my experience with elastics so far. I've had them for about two weeks and I'm also going to show you a close-up of what they look like because that could be really useful for some of you. Also, just a quick update because some of you are interested, I recently changed my braces colour to red um, in my most recent appointment. I chose red because it matches my hair colour and it's a very Christmassy colour and I'm not going back to my orthodontist until New Year's Eve so I'm going to be having these braces for Christmas. So I wanted to pick a festive colour so they're red now. I just thought I'd tell you that because some people are interested in the colour schemes that I like to go for so yeah this month is red. Okay so I'm just going to show you a quick close-up of my elastic bands. Also, I know I look extremely different now and the background is different and everything's just different. This is because I am filming this on a different day due to the fact that my camera died when I was going to film my elastic bands the other day. I hope that doesn't bother you. But now I'm going to show you the close-up of my elastic bands. Yay! <laughs> my close-up of my elastic bands. I hope that showed you everything you wanted to know but please leave a comment below if you want me to do any more close-ups on anything inside my mouth. Also before I explain to you more about my elastic bands I'm just going to quickly note to you guys that if you have any questions at all about any of the other things that are inside my mouth, for example my braces in general or my spaces or the weird blue things on my teeth, I do have a video of explaining everything about that which I will leave in the description box. So go check that out if you want to know more about my braces experience, but if not, keep on watching to find out about my elastic bands. See ya! Okay, so now on to the information about my elastics. So the whole purpose of my elastics is to bring my top teeth back to the same level as my bottom teeth. Apparently my top teeth are in front of my bottom teeth and they're not supposed to be. So my elastics are dragging my top jaw back, I think. <laughs> now I'm going to give you some information about my elastics so that you can know as much detail as I know about them. To ensure that my elastics are kept in place, I had two hooks put onto my top brace. One here and one here. They didn't need to create hooks on my bottom brace because if you recall from my close-up of my braces video, um, I did mention that I have spacers and the spacers are what um, the elastics are attached to on my bottom mouth. I'm not explaining this very well, but basically my elastics are attached to a hook on my top brace and they go to my spacer on my bottom brace. That wasn't so difficult to say now, was it? There's lots of different heights of elastic bands, I think, um, but mine are the Brazil ones and they... Oh, I should most probably show them to you. Here is what they look like. This is the package they come in when I get them from my orthodontist. Um, I'll do a close-up of this in a minute, but basically you get a hella load of little tiny elastic bands in a packet. 
I was given two packets of these when I first got my elastics put in and the best part about this is that these are free. I don't have to pay for these if I need any more of them. So yes, I have the Brazil bands which are the smallest, I think. So how long do I have to keep my elastic bands in for? All day. However, I can go two hours without, but I'm not supposed to exceed that limit. The orthodontist also recommends I take them out when I'm eating and when I'm brushing my teeth. Um, I think that pretty much speaks for itself as to why I should do this. I don't want to break them and I don't want them to ping off the hooks, so I take them out when I eat and brush my teeth. Although, please be aware that this is optional. Some people do eat with their elastics in and brush their teeth with them in, but I choose not to because I find that's too risky for me. Um, you must change your elastics daily before bed. So you put new ones in before you go to sleep. Because I brush my teeth before I go to sleep, I would take my elastics out, brush my teeth, and then put new ones back in again. That's just put itself into my little routine and I think that works really well. And yes, you must absolutely sleep with your elastics in. You have to keep them in pretty much as much as you can. Now I'm going to talk about my personal experience and what I felt when the elastics were getting put in. So when I first got my elastics put in, it didn't hurt. No, it, this, who elastics do not hurt. Even the process of them screwing the hooks into my braces, that didn't even hurt. Like nothing about it hurt, but it did ache a lot. At first when I just got my elastics put in, um, every time I tried to open my mouth, it felt like my mouth was being forced shut again, so I could barely open my mouth. Unfortunately for little old me, I have to go through Christmas day with my elastics in, but I think I might make that my cheat today because I'm going to be eating a lot on Christmas and I don't want to have to keep taking my elastics in and out all the time, so I think I'm just going to leave them out for that day. Don't tell my orthodontist. She will kill me. I asked my orthodontist would it hurt if my elastic snapped in my mouth and my orthodontist said that they're not likely to snap and they are very very strong but they are they can ping off the hook and become detached and that could smack your lip and I completely agree with my orthodontist because there have been multiple times in the past week where my elastics have like pinged off my hook and have smacked me in the lip and it hurts it hurts a lot just kidding it doesn't hurt that much but it's not very pleasant when you're in the middle of talking to someone and you get smacked in the lip by some elastic also my orthodontist said that there is a possibility that my hooks will become loose and if this happens i need to get an immediate orthodontist appointment straight away so that was information about my first experience with elastics um, I've now had them in for about two weeks and I must say that they're natural to me now. I have gotten so used to them. I got used to them in about two days. Um, it's really not a bad process. Yes, that's it. They don't hurt at all. There's nothing wrong with them. I can talk quite easily now. Um, I just take them out when I eat. Oh, the process of taking them in and out. Do be careful with that. Sometimes I'm a little bit too rough when I take out my elastics and I end up hitting myself in the face or losing them. They're a nuisance to say the least, but they are definitely worthwhile because I can guarantee that they're doing a lot for my teeth. I can feel it. My teeth ache all the time and I know it's down to these elastics doing work. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really am sorry if I've missed anything. The thing with the rubber bands is that there's really nothing to say. They are literally just pieces of elastic in your mouth. I'm quite enjoying having them in actually because it's really funny to see people's reaction in public when I take them out. It is kind of gross. Anyways, I will see you in my next video or rather you will see me. Um, have a wonderful evening slash morning slash day. It's evening where I am right now. <laughs> and yeah, goodbye. <laughs> it's recording, right? Why is my brother banging on the ceiling? <clears throat> Out. Why is he banging? Oh well.
what can you do? Anyways, I will see you in my next video, or rather you will see me, and I will see... I just said that.